Plants are living things, alive or not alive. Look at these pictures below and draw each one in the correct group in the table given. These pictures are of a match, river, plant, clouds, clock, sheep, tree and cactus. In the group or the column of alive comes sheep, plant, tree and cactus. In the column of not alive comes match or flame, clouds, rivers and clock. These are the seven rules to tell if something is a living thing or it's not living thing. If it is alive, it moves, it needs water and food, it grows, it makes waste, it needs air, it can sense the world around it, and it can have young. Look at the things in the table. Use the rules to decide if they are alive or not. A goat, it can move, it needs water and food, it grows, it can make waste, it needs air, it can sense the things around it, it has young or it gives birth to its young ones, so it means that they are alive. So a cat is also alive, the moon it's not alive, a tree is alive, a dolphin is alive, and an ant is alive. This is the correct answer. Complete these sentences using your answers from the table. Pick one thing that is alive and one thing that is not alive. A. I know ant is alive because it can breathe. B. I know moon is not alive because it cannot breathe. Look at the pictures below. It's of a wood, plastic building block, rain, fan, frog spawn, crab, rock and tree. Sort the given things shown in the picture into three groups shown in the table below. Draw each thing in the correct box. Frog spawn, crab and tree come under living things. Wood is a thing that was once alive. Things that have never been alive are rain, fan, rock and plastic building block. Plant parts. Color this plant and label it. Use these words. Roots, flower, leaf and stem. Every part of the plant is important. Draw an arrow from the plant part to its important job. The roots hold the plant down and absorb water from the soil. Flower is to make the seeds. Stem to hold the plant parts up and transport water. Leaf it to make the food of the plant. Sophia wonders what would happen if a plant did not have all these plant parts like the roots, flower, stem or leaf. Write in the bubbles what you think would have happened to a plant without these plant parts. Without its leaves, the plant could not make food or sugar. Without its stem, the plant would not be able to stand up. Without flowers, the plant will not be able to make seeds. Without roots, the plant will not be held in place or absorb water from the soil. Plants and Light Four similar plants are put in different places. A, B, C and D. Plant C will grow well because it has the most light. 
plant A, B and D will grow less well because they have less light. Plant A, B and D would grow better if it was moved next to plant C. Two similar plants are growing. One is in the light and the other one is in the dark box. The plants have water. Draw what happens to the plants as they begin to grow. The plant with light, drawing of a healthy plant. The plant with no light, it has a drawing of a small, unhealthy plant with small leaves. Look at the four seeds below and the places they will grow. They all get enough water. But will they grow well? Look at the pictures and complete the sentences in the questions. Seeds A and C will not grow strongly because they are not growing in a sunny place. Seeds B and D will grow well because they are growing in a sunny place. Plants need light so that the leaves can make food or sugar. Plants need water and the right temperature. Plants need the right amount of water. They also need the right temperature. Look at these pictures. Is each plant growing well? Plant C cannot grow well because it is too cold. Plant A cannot grow well because it is too hot. Plant B can grow well because it has the right temperature. Three seeds were grown in different places. One was grown in sandy soil, the second in a good soil, the third in stones. Complete these sentences. Use the letters and words A, C, water, good, stones, root, sandy and absorb. Plant B grew the best because the good soil held enough water for the plant to grow. The root could absorb enough water from the soil. Plant C grew the least because the stones had no water. The root could not absorb any water. Plant A grew a little because the root absorbed a little water. The sandy soil holds only a little water. Aaron had two plants that were the same. He gave water to one plant. He did not give water to the other plant. Every day he measured the height of the plants. Here are the results on day 1 and day 10. The height on day 1 in centimeter with water was 4 centimeter and on day 1 no water the height was 4 centimeter. On day 10 with water the height was 8 centimeter and on day 10 with no water the height became 3 centimeter. Now draw a bar chart for each day for day 1 and day 10. Day 1, the heights of both the plants with and without water were the same. And on day 10, the height of the plant with water had increased to 8 cm, whereas the plant with no water on day 10 decreased to 3 cm. Which plant grew better and why? The plant which was watered grew better. This was because it had water and it could grow well. How tall do you think the plant with water was on day 5? It could have been 5 or 6 cm on day 5.